So back in 2010, I really started to ask God, what would it look like for me to act justly, to uh, love mercy, and to walk humbly with Him? And I felt like His answer came in a verse I was reading from 2 Corinthians 8, uh, verse 13 and 14, where Paul was saying, it's not that other people should be relieved while you are hard pressed, but that everybody would have equal. So at this present time, your plenty can supply all of their needs so that in turn, their plenty can then supply somebody else's needs. And I started to think through that and think, I have plenty of time and I have plenty of love to give and I have plenty of resources and I have plenty of money in that I have some money that's extra each month. And I started to just think about giving these things away for the sake of equality and therefore for the sake of justice. EPAC is a word that means a notable event or a major happening in time that is such a big thing that it starts a brand new era. So we are really hoping that our program can be an epoch for these children so that it can be such a notable event or such a large happening in their life that it changes their direction, it changes their era. It makes a brand new era for them. And um, we are hoping that from an earlier age, if these kids have a place where they can belong from an early age and, and move up um, each year with us, experiencing being wanted and being loved and and being cherished and favored by a group of people can kind of change your outlook on life where you're heading in one direction the only direction that you know the only direction that you've experienced and yet something new happens that can give you another option for a path that's what we're hoping for we're trying to lead them by example of hard work and we're teaching them to work hard, to love everybody, to forgive quickly and to respect authority. And we really think that these core concepts are really going to shape um, their future. And we think that if they can get that instilled in them now, that that's going to change their lives and, and make things better for them. I'm really excited about partnering with TRP. Um, I'm excited because they're also champions for the cause of justice and I love having like-minded people come alongside of us. I'm excited over the possibility of being able to get some mentors um, from TRP. We're really in need of male mentors especially. We always take females um, but it seems like it's a little harder to get men to come out and help and um, get to see a kid and really as a mentor you, you visit your mentee once a week um, 30 minutes to an hour a week, you come out, play basketball, take a walk, visit, talk, play dodgeball, eat dinner, have a good time. Um, we're also hoping that people would come out and just volunteer. We could always use help in the classroom. We, um, you can come out and read with a kid. You can come out and share one of your hobbies or your interests with us. Teach it to a small group of five or six or seven kids um, once a week and so that would also be very helpful. And of course, if you're so inclined, you could always support us financially as well. If you're thinking about whether or not you wanna get involved and how am I gonna juggle the kids and how can I, I would just encourage you to act on justice. Act towards justice. Just take one step to do one thing. You don't have to change the world. You don't have to end poverty. You don't have to solve all the kids' problems, but you can do one thing one night and just take it from there and see where God leads you and see what paths he opens up for you after that.